were part of the cowboy history. It was just special. They are as recognizable as the star on the helmet. I would agree that the quarterback uh, position for the Dallas Cowboys is, is something really special. They turned Dallas into a football dynasty. It's a real honor being part of the Cowboy family. They are the men who quarterback the Cowboys into America's heart. It makes me even prouder to be a member of this little group. I'm proud to be the Dallas Cowboy quarterback. You hear their stories during this special edition of Cowboys Game Day on CBS 11. And welcome to this special edition of Cowboys Game Day. I'm Bill Jones. It was 13 years ago that we first had the pleasure of broadcasting a very special event in which we assembled the greatest quarterbacks in Cowboys history for a lively and entertaining discussion. Every year since, we have re-aired the special, and every year, people want to see it again. So, in an effort to keep our tradition alive, we once again present our special on the Cowboys quarterback legends. Sit back and enjoy the tales from a group of five of the most no notable names in Cowboys history. Roger Staubach, Troy Aikman, Craig Morton, Danny White, and last but not least, Dandy Don Meredith, who will get things started. I think the Cowboys definitely hold a special spot in not only our hearts, but for some reason, I'm not really sure why, but I think in the whole country there's something about the Dallas Cowboys that makes it special. There's really a lineage from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, and there's been a history from, for all those decades and people related because uh, we got on TV, and fortunately uh, we've had periods of time where we were really good, and, and I think that... And, and I also feel the, the essence of, of Tom Landry for 29 years is, is, is made people either love the Cowboys or hate the Cowboys. And uh, it's, it's fun to see people uh, uh, at least talk about the Cowboys. And I think there are uh, inherent pressures that come with playing quarterback uh, for the Cowboys. And there's a lot of expectations. And, uh, and I used to always tell Roger, hey, you know, it was really nice of you to raise the bar to the level that we're now. You know, this is you know, my toughest day, so you're the reason that we're having to deal with and I'm having to deal with you know, this because the, the, the play of quarterback has been so good for so many years for this franchise, and, uh, and I, was, I was proud to be a part of it and hopefully continue with that. And I think that there's been something now that's going to be passed on to each quarterback that plays that uh, there's a level that's been that's been raised and, and uh, each one's asked to get to that level. One of the things I think that was fun is that to be, for me to be able to be here at the beginning of not only the Cowboys but the Dallas Texans and they were the same year and uh, if there was something I was ever supposed to do I, I guess it was football because I, I I worry about this I've mentioned it earlier but see I was going I was in, I'd been accepted to SMU's law school uh -huh. and I would have probably been governor by now. <laughs> Oh, I really want to know that is because basically many, many times back in my <laughs> drinking days, uh, I was elected governor. <laughs> I was. I did. And I, uh, I, ran, I ran on a, on a basic platform of, of goodness. And, uh, and I was for water and against most sin. And, uh, and the only time I ever lost was one time in Mexico City, and uh, my brother beat me. <laughs> I don't think they understood what I was talking about. I really, I really don't. One of my earliest memories of uh, Danny White after he came to Dallas is uh, the frustrations you had competing in training camp, like playing ping pong and things with him. Uh, and I'd like to, I'd like you to tell people that side of. Both of you, see if you're honest. Roger thinks I've forgotten about that ping pong game, but I haven't. Um, first of all, it was hard. It was it was hard to get Roger to do anything unless it was guaranteed that he was going to win. He wouldn't. He wouldn't come out on a basketball court with me. He wouldn't get in a racquetball court with me. Well, he did think he could beat me at ping pong. And uh, to make a long story short, his his paddle ended up going through the wall into the next room and uh it's an urban legend story it's the truth. It's i told the truth. coach landry to keep longley too by the way <laughs> now, just, now that's a good story 
you ought to get started. <laughs> don't, don't get him started there, or we will be here all night. I know. And, and how did every argument with Roger end? Uh, every argument ended with, well, hey, Wiz, did you win the Heisman Trophy? <laughs> And end of discussion. <laughs>